Uh, Innocent man so on death row. Make him a Valentine. Today, UT students rally to save Rodney Reed from execution. Reed was convicted of murder and is expected to be put to death next month. But today, there's a new appeals fight in an effort to free a man many say was wrongfully convicted. KITV's Adam Rakusin has been following the story and all of the court cases. He joins us live now with the very latest on Rodney Reed's appeal. How is this fight going? Yeah, well, you know, along with what they filed today are new affidavits backing up the story that Reed and his attorneys have been telling for almost two decades. The biggest eye opener coming from someone who says she knew and worked with Stacey Stites and was told that Stites was in a relationship with a guy named Rodney. Now, Reed has always maintained he was in a relationship with Stites. According to the affidavit, the, room, the woman wrote, quote, she, being Stacy, told me that she was sleeping with a black guy named Rodney and that she didn't know what her fiancé would do if he found out. That conversation possibly took place weeks before Stacy Stites was murdered. The other new information comes from two outside medical examiners. Michael Baden, who most recently conducted an autopsy for the family of Michael Brown, who was shot and killed by a Ferguson murdered police officer, and the other coming from Dr. Werner Spitz, who has testified as an expert in the Casey Anthony and Jean Benet Ramsey cases. Both medical examiners challenged Stites' time of death as it was originally reported. Dr. Baden goes as far to say that in his medical opinion, Mr. Reed is scheduled to be executed for a crime that he didn't commit. The additional evidence that we have submitted along with this application actually establishes that Mr. Reed and Ms. Stites uh, had an intimate relationship of their own uh, at the time that Ms. Stites was killed, which further undermines the state's position that Ms. Stites was raped. There is evidence in support of this petition that, that any contact between Mr. Reed and Ms. Stites was consensual.